I'm Chadwick. And I'm Ashley. And today we're going to show you around the new River Run RV Resort in Granby, Colorado. This is the good life. Oh, 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 oh. This is the good life. Oh, 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 oh. Out in the sunshine. Nothing but good times. This is the good life. This is the good life. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to make the most out of every day with your family and maybe learn a few camping tips, start now by clicking the subscribe button and hitting that bell so you don't miss a thing. So this is totally not a sponsored ad, but we've been here a few times already and we really love it. Um, it's like the posh glamping place to go here in Colorado in my opinion. So we got a ton of different options for accommodations. They've got everything from RV sites where you have back-end sites, you have pull-through sites. They're all full hookups, cable TV, internet, Wi-Fi, you name it. They got it all. Concrete pads, like super long. And huge. Super long, nice concrete pads, really yeah. nice built-in fire pits. Um, but then if you don't have a camper, they've got cabins. There's three different styles of cabins to suit your family's needs. They have airstreams you can rent, even if you don't have your own camper, but you want to try it, you can rent an airstream. Uh, they have Conestoga wagons. You can get them with just a king bed inside or a king bed and a set of bunks. So your family of four could fit in there just fine. I just think they're super cute. At night they glow, which is really awesome. It's like if you want to get outside, there's an option for pretty much everyone right now. Like, And you can come with a group of friends who don't, not yeah. everybody has to have a camper, which yeah. is awesome. I think this might be the largest campground that, um, I guess if you call it a campground, in all of Colorado. And it's all paved, so it's a great place to bring a bike, you know, bring your whole family's bikes. They even have golf carts you can rent, which on one of our previous visits, we rented a golf cart and that was a super super fun thing. It's a little pricey, so we don't do it every time. Golf cart time. Uh -uh. Hey, Roxy girl, are you gonna ride? Roxy, come on, hop up. Uh, Good mom. girl. Roxy's riding in a golf cart. <laughs> uh-uh, stay, it's okay. I got you, I got you, you're fine. She's scared. It is nice to have some sort of mode of transportation though, because it takes a while to walk from some of the, the RV sites over to like the, uh, activities area and the pool and stuff like that. It can be done and it's a beautiful place to walk so that's fine too but um, it's a lot easier to just hop on your bikes and head over or rent a golf cart. Yeah it's real spread out. We've seen people though with like motorized scooters and their um, hoverboard things and this is a resort. <laughs> yes that's, it this lives is a, up to the resort name. It's not really a campground it's it's kind of a resort this is glamping for sure. Yeah. They have a camp store which has things like this t-shirt that we got. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they have like things that you might need if you want to make s'mores or things that you might need for your camper if something mm -hmm. breaks and snacks and, and other things like that, souvenirs, that sort of thing. But they have like every amenity you can think of. The pool is total resort style pool. huge swimming pool but when you get it's pretty nice but when you get out it's cold one annoying thing is that you can't go swimming all the time if you're camping on Friday Saturday Sunday because you have to get tickets for that because the pool fills up um, so fast and they can only have 50 people in it since COVID. Um, COVID, yeah. Yesterday there was a DJ there playing music. Yeah. <laughs> um, they have activities throughout the day for the kids. We've done making slime, making like uh, our own uh, lava lamp type things. Tie-dye shirts. They do bingo and win prizes, candy bar bingo, soda bingo. B11. Which we they, did not win yesterday. We did not win. We should have won. They have two restaurants on site. 
They have um, oh, good hot wings. Highly recommend these. Are they the best wings in Granby? Well, this is the only wings I've tried in Granby, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> They've got a gym you can use. They've got bocce ball, miniature golf. The miniature golf isn't true miniature golf though. It's not like a course. Harrison found the mini golf. How do you know which hole you're going to? We said we're going to that one. Let's cool. just go to a hole that's not that one. <laughs> Ready? I better go get a club. It's like a practice thing. I think yeah. that that grown men would want to use if they were going to go play real golf. Yeah, but it so. doesn't have like the obstacles like a miniature golf course would have. But it's all included. Yeah. And so that's great. They've got pickleball courts. Mm -hmm. They've got a gaga ball court. This place has a has a giant playground and it's really fun. And it has a huge jumping pillow that you can jump on. Bouncy, bouncy, bounce. Basketball, volleyball, the mm -hmm. two different lakes. So they have two lakes here on River Run. One here is for paddle boards or kayaks, which is great. It's right in front of all those airstreams that are just decorating it. And then there's another one down the way that's specifically for fishing. Indoor, there's an arcade. There's the indoor bowling. It's the yeah. mini bowling where like the balls are like this big. So it's like skee ball meets bowling. Yeah. And <laughs> it's, it's like skee ball. It, it is. It's like yeah. skee ball and bowling combined in one. It's pretty cool. The pins are on little strings though. So there's one one catch to it. If you bowl a little hard or you, you got a little speed to it, sometimes those things get tangled up. So But they fix it and they, they keep going. Yeah, they fix it and keep going for yeah. sure. And I and I won the game I played earlier. Because I wasn't there that game. <laughs> well, yeah. um, that's true. She is probably a better bowler. Roxy found a new toy. It's the oven mitt. She and thinks it's say, another animal. I'm done. They have a dog park. Not just one, but this is a second dog park. This one's down in the RV area. Nice little grassy areas. This is the smaller of the two. So the other one's over by the main building area. But then there's also like a city dog park that you can walk to that has, it's not like grassy area, but it's a bigger area that the dogs can run around in and there's a hike near there and stuff too. So there's no shortage of dog parks. No shortage of dog parks. Awesome amenity to have and they're nice little areas with the gated vestibule and all that. There is no shortage of things to do around here. And that's just here at the resort. You leave the resort yeah. and you're in like God's country. It's beautiful up here. So this is in Granby, Colorado, which is kind of the west entrance to Rocky Mountain National Park. So you can get into the park in yeah. what, 30 minutes from yeah. here? You just, right now, because of COVID, you have to get like a reservation on recreation.gov yeah. or whatever, but. But um, you've got the two, you've got Lake Granby, and then you've got Grand Lake, mm -hmm. um, and then Shadow Mountain Lake and Grand Lake are attached. Um, and they have a, several marinas there, and you can rent some pontoon boats, and we're gonna go cruise around and enjoy the beauty of Colorado from a lake view. And the interesting thing about Grand Lake is it's the headwaters of the Colorado River. This is the first time I've been to Grand Lake since I was 17 years old, even though I've lived in Colorado for the past 20 years. So, super pumped. Here we go. This is the Forrest Gump wave. I like it. Bryson, give me a wave. Colton. That's my bike. <laughs> Ashley's getting the load on right now. She's gonna be the boat captain. So she's figuring out how to drive this thing. And we're no, heading out. I know out. how to drive it. I'll just get it started. Oh, Harrison said he knows how to drive it. 
This is gonna be fun. All right, right at 8.30, right on time. All right, do you guys wanna go up to Grand Lake first or down closer to the dam where there's little islands and beaches? Islands and beaches, okay. It was gorgeous. Grand Lake is ridiculous. Very it's, pretty. It's gotta be the prettiest lake in the country. It's, <laughs> I'm, maybe I'm biased. <laughs> it's also, so we learned this last night, they also had a storyteller. Yeah. Right, and at this storyteller, he's a historian giving an uh, explanation and telling unique facts about the place, but we learned that's the largest body of water, natural body of water in the state. And it's actually not as big as you would think it is for it, what it becomes later. I would say it's grand because it has this mountainscape that's around it that's yeah. like unmatched by anything you've ever seen before. This is Grand Lake and it pretty big. And our crazy kids today jumped off the <laughs> boat into the freezing cold yeah, we what was snow melt a few days ago probably. It took about what ten dollars to convince them. Yeah. And for for a few bucks we got some entertainment out of watching them freeze their butts <laughs> off. How are you guys count down? Yeah, Three. Well, well, two, why not? One. I push him in. Oh! oh holy. <laughs> This is crazy! Look at me! Hold up on my life jacket. Oh, oh, holy yeah. Both sides of each life jacket. There you go. Ah, ah, ah. Caught on it. Oh, there we go. You were caught on that hook. Sorry, but... <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you win the bravery award. I need to know, how cold is that actual water? Pretty cold. I scream because, like... I was stuck on a hook and I couldn't get back up. The water was still really cold though. Do you think if we go back in right now it might warm up? You want to try? I'm good. I'm going to dip Harrison in. You're scared. It, it, you better not drop me. I'm not going to. If you do, I'm going to pull me out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's freezing. One, One two, two, three. Okay. Give me my 10 bucks. Not too bad. It was kind of cold. The guy told me, he says, it's going to look like you're not going to fit under the pedestrian bridge, but you will. <laughs> and it does not look like I'm going to fit. I'm scared. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's our house. I bought it for retirement. It's happy birthday for the rest of your life. One of the things that a lot of people like to know, including myself, is how good is the TV service? Because what's camping without TV? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we used to, when I was a kid, we used to put our tent in the backyard oh, yeah. and run an extension cord from yeah. inside the house out to the tent so we could plug our TV. <laughs> we did that at my Uncle Dan's backyard. But it was like a black and white TV. Oh, yeah, with something. the knobs. With, yeah, you had to turn the knob and you got like four channels. <laughs> And I don't even know what we So watch, much camping so. without TV. Yeah. They have, uh, so they have cable here. And like K-Ways and stuff we've been to, they have cable. But here they actually have digital channels. And they have like, they have like legit cable. They have... I get to watch HGTV, which I miss because we don't have cable at home. So I get yeah. to watch HGTV here. Yes. <laughs> and ESPN, they have all the channels, yeah. which is awesome. And then for Wi-Fi, they have a free Wi-Fi service, which is all right. It's better than like a lot of the KOAs we've been to because even with all these people here, I'm still able to get on the Wi-Fi and get a decent enough signal from it. When we're at busy KOAs, it, the Wi-Fi doesn't work. Yeah. So, but they I have an upgrade. Yeah. So you pay for a better, higher speed. If you stay here for three nights, I thought it was worth it because we stream our church service and some other things. Um, so I have a little better bandwidth. It's ten dollars for three nights or something is what we paid. It's not per day. No, it was three days, is $10, so like oh. three bucks a day. And that's like for four devices, some sort of Sun Resorts Wi-Fi deal, but it's worth it. I would do it. One thing I forgot to mention is not only are there places to rent here, they actually have homes that you they sell here that you can purchase. <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, honey, but... If you purchase one, you have to invite us. Right, because <laughs> we told you about it. Um, 
for Colorado real estate, the price yeah. points aren't that bad, but I, the HOA fees are pretty high because you have to pay for all the amenities. They take care of all the exterior of the units, but they're really nice. They're all brand new, so that's an option too. You want to just have a permanent vacation home here. I think the only downside to this glamping option is cost. It's not the cheapest place. I think the rack rate for a pull through campsite is something like 90 bucks a night or something close to that mm. they will often run deals there where it's like buy two nights get one free i know the that's the cab what we're doing yeah <laughs> that's how we can come <laughs> <laughs> the cabins i know are like 250 ish dollars a night and up but you can sleep a family of four to six in those cabins usually so yep. um you know it, it, it's not cheap but they also right now because they're still under construction if you come once you get a coupon for 25 percent off for, it's either 20 or 25 percent mm -hmm. off your next stay so it's good incentive to get you back and it's just because they're still under there's parts that are still under construction so um we've used that to book an <laughs> extra trip too and i would say even though it's under construction it's i haven't really noticed it that much mm -hmm. other than they have a few fences up they kind of keep it quiet. It seems like they're not working very much. 360 degree mountain views from every campsite here. Yeah, you, you sit like, kind of like in this little valley. So it's all around. There's not a lot of shade right now because they just sort of cleared a big land out, but they've got trees everywhere and they keep planting them. So I imagine in a couple years. Once they grow up. Yeah, let's grow up just a little bit. Oh man, this is going to be a place we visit all the time. What are you making? Foil bowls. What's foil bowls? So you can make s'more soup instead of a real s'more. You need <laughs> no, I just made that up. Uh, you make the bowl first. You kind of like fold the corners in because those are your structural pieces. You have to use foil because it's metal and it is conductive to heat and it helps your gooeyness turn gooier faster. Hershey's bar. I like a lot of chocolate, so this is my base layer. Give it some structure on the bottom. Two marshmallows on top of the chocolate. On the top, I like to just do one more chocolate. Kind of smush the marshmallow in between. And then take some graham crackers. We have chocolate, marshmallow, chocolate. Yeah, wait. What about graham crackers? Well, you can't put the graham cracker in the bottom because they'll just get burnt. So then you take the graham cracker and you crumple it. Ooh, look at that. You Maybe kind of cinch it closed a little bit. So you don't get too much ash inside it. Yeah. And then you put it right there on the edge of that fire and let it get toasty. If we had a grate over top, I'd put it on the grate, around the edge of the grate, but we don't have a grate today. So we'll just put it right there on the edge. I don't recommend this for kids. Going right there with it. I burnt my arm on the fire ring. <laughs> Looks good. Now I gotta, now I gotta go roast my, my whole mouth. I'm gonna kick it up a notch. This is a pretty Emerald Lagasse. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Ah, it's in my ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, make fire. Why is it noise? What? I can't get it. I'm like, spoon. You can make more. How does it taste? It is very good. It's worth the wait, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pretty good. Yeah, yeah really. I just moved it back. Really size. sweet. It's really nice when the chocolate and marshmallow melt. Well, this take a little bit longer than a uh, regular s'mores, but it's worth the wait though. It's really good. The kids, it's their favorite place to come. They ask, are we going back to River Run yeah. anymore? <laughs> you know, once we leave. Like when Harrison we... is like, <laughs> he's dead asleep from all the activity he's been yeah. doing all, right, all around here. So hopefully you found this video helpful if you're interested in coming to River Run. I'm curious if anybody else out there has been to some of the other Sun RV resorts. This is our only experience with the Sun RV resort, but I know they have them across the country. So have you been to other ones? Which ones are awesome? What else, which other ones should we check out? Let us know in the comments. Hey guys, next week we're going to be heading out to one of our favorite campgrounds that's outside of Denver called Golden Gate Canyon State Park. Uh, we've been there a bunch in tents and this will be our first time taking our, our new Winnebago up there. Looking forward to it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.
just draw a blank when I look at the camera. <laughs> you get so mesmerized by that lens in their 